G'day all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another PGA Tour 2K21 course playthrough. So today's course, we have a fictional course and we are off to Maidenbrush Dunes for this one. And this course is designed by a fellow Brew Crew buddy and friend, Katana22 Mike, or Mike as we all know him by. All right, let's get into the settings to see what he's got lined up for us. What have we got? Fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speed is fast. Time of day is dawn, the weather is clear, and the crowds are on to cheer us along. And we will be playing from the black tees, measuring 7,180 yards on pin set one. Now, Mike did put this course up for review on the tours, and yep, what do you know? It is tour worthy. So, in true typical tour fashion, we're going to be taking out the big boy sticks. So, yeah, be warned, people, be warned. All right, so that's enough of the business. Now it's the time to sit back, relax, and if you come a swinging, let's go for it. Okay, here we are, just making our way through the front entrance here, just to get an overall feel and check out what it'd look like. But wow, that looks pretty damn cool. All right, here we go. Welcome to Maidenbrush Dunes, everyone. Look at this for a course. Absolutely stunning work. That looks really good. Let's uh, pull the camera right back, so give you a bit more of a look at the course. There it is there. Absolutely Unreal work by old Katana 22. All right, let's get back down to the clubhouse area. Have a little bit of a look around here. Nice looking clubhouse. This is where the action's going to begin, right here. There's my little dude. Oh, we got a nice driving range out here as well. Just smacking balls off into the sunset. Very nice. All right, what have we got around? Anything around? Oh, nice little practice screen at the back here as well. Nice big waterfall down there. All right, we'll come back to that and have a look. Let's um let's make our way up around this way. It's got all this dune sort of bunker, waste bunker area. Absolutely beautiful. Got some um nice houses on the outer edges of the course. Let's give it another um cool look from the course. That's cool. Not too much detail there, which is fine because it is all out there. As you can see. Look at all the planting. All the the whole all the brushwork that he's put into this course the grass and all the dunes absolutely stunning looking course all right let's um go for a bit of a wander go check out this little green down through here very nice now i reckon we're going to see quite a few of these bunkers right up on the green edge so they'll have a nasty little runoff hopefully we don't um catch many of those a uh, nice little view back towards the clubhouse there. Nice bridge. Uh, let's make our way around this way. Wow, what a stunning looking course. Absolutely beautiful. We'll just get down low and cross this bridge here. Absolutely beautiful work. Now, Mike does have quite a few courses out. The last course I remember, and it's probably one of my favourites so far, was Amaru Bay. That was an absolute beautiful course. I think I was in the World Cup of Design for last year. But hell, this might just top it, you know? Totally, two different, totally different courses though. Let's cut down through this way. So there's a tee there. So it looks like we'll be smacking across to that green there. And then, yeah, making our way across the bridge to get there absolutely beautiful looking course though all the work that he's done all the um shallow water and all the brushwork planting absolutely insane oh, i can't wait to hit this i cannot wait all right let's zoom on down this way a bit have a nice little look down here very very nice it's got all that sort of it's got all the grass in there as well with all the bushes and brush very, very nice. Right, let's get up over here and have a look at the uh, waterfall, shall we? That's pretty damn cool. That's a nice looking waterfall there. Very nice. Alright, well, I think... Hey, on, what are you doing? What are you doing down here in your lonesome? Mike, I think we have someone lost on the course, mate. You might need to um, send some officials out. She looks a little bit worried down there. But if she just looks up, she'll notice the crowd building over here. So yeah, let's go get into it. And hopefully um, someone picks her up. 
All right, where's my little dude? Here he is right here, so yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, hole one, par four. What have we got? 446 yards, 10 feet up, and a gentle five-mile breeze today. But hell, what a beautiful uh, view off this first tee. Okay, let's put that, I'm going to say, about there. Hopefully we don't rip it almighty fast into it. Oh, that's dead set perfect. We're close to it. All right, that is beautifully on the fairway. That's where we want to be on this course. Don't want to be in the rough or the bunkers. I reckon this is going to be quite a difficult course. Oh, look at the green. Look at this green. Um, okay, 141, four feet down. A little bit of wind is going to hold us a bit. I reckon about there with the nine. We put a bit of high loft on it. Let's bring that back at the hole now. Looking at our lie. Oh, again, slight little fast. The wind's definitely going to get grabbed, that one. Hit the slope. Kick towards the hole. Oh, now hit that slope. Come back. Oh, come back. Come on. Oh, it's not too bad. The crowd's loving it at the moment. Let's see if we can really please them by tucking this one away for a nice little birdie. Okay, slight little downhill. How much is that going to break, though? It's got me worried. Oh, and he's just missed it. You're kidding. All right, we'll put it away for a nice little par and keep on moving. Give the crowd a um, big wave there. Thanks for the cheers. And let's keep going. All right, hole two, par three. Uh, 162 yards. A little bit of wind. Seven iron. Might pull that back to the eight on this one. That wind's going to bring it around. A little bit of high loft on it. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that felt perfect. Hopefully that tracks towards the hole. Oh, a little bit too much high loft on that. Oh, and it's caught a slope, and that is going to roll away from the hole. Beautiful looking course, though. Outstanding looking course, and that looks like a huge ass putt. I don't know, only, only 28 feet. Uh, uphill, got a bit of a break to it, too. Let's punch that out here somewhere. Oh, I think I underhit that one. Yeah, baby arms. No way. Alright, another little par on the scorecard. Could be a lot worse, could be bogeys. So, what do we got? Hole three. Par four. Uh, 355 yards, three feet down. Oh, this is protected by bunkers. Can we thread the needle on this one? Just like a little fast. Oh, that might find the middle here. Oh, which it does too. Love the bunker work on this course. Love the colours too. The white sand makes it stand out beautifully. Uh, lob wedge pitch. Oof, wow. That bunker is right in front. We've got 10 feet up. Oh, don't be slow. No! No! Oh, straight into it. Oh, get in the hole. Get in the hole. There it is. Yes! What a shot. That is a bogey. I mean, a birdie on the scorecard. Man, I can't even speak tonight. I've been absolutely hammered these last few days with hay fever. So I haven't felt like doing the things. I've been, I've been wanting to play a game, uh, around the golf, and it's just, oh, I just did not have the brain power for it. 
So I'm going to try my luck tonight and hopefully it all turns out well. I'm starting to feel a bit better now, so. All right, now that that's out of the way. Okay, hole four. Uh, what do you got, par four? 334 yards, two feet up. So yeah, if I sound a little bit funny, that's the reason why. Oh, three miles going with us. Can we launch it up here? Can we make that? Oh, fuck, we're getting up there, all right. Oh, we're definitely up there. Slightly left and in the thick shit, but we didn't go in the water. Okay, that's, uh, that's running down towards the pin here. Gap wedge pitch. We are coming out, out of the rough. Pitches do come out pretty well, though. Just, I think I might take the pitching wedge. On this one. Looking at our lie as well. I'm going to aim a fair way to the left of the hole. Get the slope. That's it. Start turning. Ooh, that was a little too far left. A little too far left and a little too far long. Too long, I mean. Too far long. See, I can't even speak. Ah, all right. Let's go. Uh, what do we got? 11 yards. A little log wedge chip. That's possibly going to need to be a sand wedge. Oh, it's looking pretty good. This is looking damn well. Oh, shit. So close, too. Well, remaining one under after four. Okay, what have we got? Hole five, par five. So if we can launch this one up there and get a nice little birdie on this par five. Uh, six mile wins. Uh, let's put it right there. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, we might get a lucky bounce. Is that going to kick over the bunker? No, no such luck. Oh, I don't like my chances of this. I think I'm going to hit the top of this. Oh, no, we got out. Nicely. Nicely done. I thought to myself, wow, that's going to hit the top and come right back at my feet. 207. Uh, what have we got? 118 remaining. Two feet down. A little bit of wind that's going to hold this gap wedge up. What have... Oh, I might play the sand wedge into this. Oh, we get a perfect on it. Well, that didn't roll out nowhere near as much as what I thought. And I thought, I thought that um, lie on the ground would have played a little bit more, but it practically went dead straight. Oh, it's coming around. That's coming around. That is in the hole. What a putt. What a putt. All right, two under after five now. I don't think there's any need to watch that replay. Come on, come on. Let's skip that one. Okay, hole six, par four. We've well, we got 336 yards, 29 feet up on this one. We've got seven miles going with us. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, whoa. Thought that was a small hit on the club. Oh, just scrapes through. And we're going uh, to be comfortably on the fairway here. Nice big drive. 325 yards. Okay, 28 yard pitch, little lob wedge pitch. Let's take some power out of that. 
see if we can do a bit of a partial get it to roll down towards the hole oh we get a hold of this nicely that needs to turn that's oh, not too bad though not too bad come on mate easy easy A little bit of a break. I've, I've played holes before like that, and it's like they didn't do a damn thing. So I didn't compensate for it that time. Oh, you're kidding me. All right, hole seven, par five. Another big par five. Right on. All right, five miles. Ooh, let's aim out here. Got a hold of that beautifully. Oh, that's a bad... Oh, that's another bad camera angle. We're just going to put up the sun on that one. Okay, 251 remaining. 23 down. Three wood. Oof. You know what? We could probably launch the old hybrid into this. Struck it beautifully too. That needs to get a oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna make the green on that one. Alright, gap wedge. Oh we got a little splash. Can we pull that back to a sand wedge splash, I think? Just give it everything she's got. So you're looking at our lie, I think I might go the gap wedge on this. Oh, that was a beautiful choice there. What a beautiful little shot from the bunker. We'll pop that one in for a bird, stamp that one down. Oh, not too bad, three under at the moment. Such a fun course too. Definitely makes you think. Um, all right, hole eight, part three. All oh, protected by bunkers on this one. Uh, what have we got? Two hundred two, ten feet up, five mile going with us. Three iron. Oof, we're gonna have to take some power out of that three. See if we can just hit this front edge and get a nice little bounce up. Now it just comes down to the swing. Oh, slow shit! It's in the bunker. Now, that might not have been too bad if that had gone straight at it. Alright, we'll settle for a par, I think. There's those houses in the background there, nice. Must be birdie time. Going by the scorecard. Let's see if we can birdie this um ninth hole. Alright, throwing a fancy fucking twelve for the crowd there. Alright, what have we got? Hole nine, par four. Uh three hundred and seventy-three yards, sixteen feet down. Alright, let's go straight down the middle on this. Oh, slight slow. Will that hold? I've got a feeling that's going to push towards the rough. That could be in the... Th oh, oh no, semi-thick shit. Uh, what do we got? 179, four feet. 79, let's chuck another club at that. Three iron, oh, that could be a bit much. Fast, all that's coming in like a duck shot in the ass. 
Uh, it's coming in hot. And that's going to end up in the bunker too. Oh, we need this one to go in for the birdie. The good old bird, love which splash. Okay, we need to put a bit of high loft on this. So I can't pull that back any further. So this is going to be a huge partial shot here. Which is a hard shot to play. Oh, see, very fast. How do you get it perfect on those shots? Seriously, that is insane. If anyone can do that, hats off to you. Hats off. No birdie on the, the ninth hole, but hell, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. All right, oh, yeah, hole 10, par three. Back at the clubhouse here, all smashing towards the waterfall. 192 yards, oh, that chick's, um... oh, I think she found everyone. The marshals must have got down there. Uh, what do we got, 192, 11 feet down, coming in with the five iron. Can we bring it in with the... I think, uh, I think the five's to go. I think the five is definitely to go. Oh, and that's a beautiful shot. Nice to sit. Oh, is it going to hold? No, it's not. It's off. Oh, there's no fringe either. It's just straight to the um, straight to the light rough. That log wedge chip. Come on, go. Yeah! There it is. Right on. Four under. Okay, come on. No, we don't want to see another replay. I wish there was an easier way that you could choose the re replay. I oh, know you can go, you can press start, go into the options and everything like that, but maybe just a simple click of a button. Yep, let's watch that replay. No. Okay, what do we got? Hole 11, par 4. Um... Yep, that's looking pretty dangerous. So we'll go about there. Oh, that sounded fucking fast, and it is. Oh, we're swimming. We're swimming. All right, well, that wasn't good. Can I take that shot again? Where? Oh, my God. Where am I going? Oh, no, we're on the dirt. There it is. All right, 80, 81 to 88 percent. Now, a lie. Bit of wind. Ooh. Possibly a five. Actually, we'll take the six. We do have that wind that's going to hold me up, though. Now we get the perfect. All right, is this for... Shit, that's going to roll. Oh, get off. Get off. Thank you. Okay. Oh, what's it? Oh, this is for par. Oh, we need this. Lob wedge. Pitching wedge. Oh. Pitching wedge chip. That's uphill. That is not going to roll that distance. Nine iron chip. That's going to be probably too much. Let's pull it back a bit. Let's see, let's see what we can do with the nine on this one. Gonna roll. Oh, this! Holy shit! Holy shit! Managed to save par on that with the old nine iron chip. No, we do not want the replay. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, people, but I'm gonna have to turn that off. Eh? I am definitely gonna have to turn that off. All right, hole 12, par five. Feeling confident now. Oh, okay. Let's aim at this bunker here, well away from the water, or the dune area anyway. Oh, shit. That one little bunker out there and I'm going in it. 
love the crowd. They're so disappointed when you go in the rough of the bunker. Watch this shot then, eh? Uh, three iron coming out of the bunker. Ah, oh, that's not going to be any good. <laughs> three hybrid. Oh, and you never know. Might be able to get a roll onto this green if I get a hold of it. Oh, no, not towards the water. Don't you dare. Hold up. Oh, hold up. Oh, thank God for the bushes. Or the brush. Alright, little lob wedge pitch. It actually says I'm in the water right now. 100% lie in the water. Nice. Okay. If that's correct, let's bring that back a bit then. Hundred percent my ass. Oh, nice little birdie opportunity here. Come on. We can do this. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that's not what you want to do. Look at that swing tempo. That was just absolutely shocking. But we were in for a par. All right, we'll take that. That could have been that could have been a lot worse. We could have ended up in the well. We were in the water, but for some reason it didn't count. All right, hole thirteen, part four. Let's um, put that straight up the middle. That sounded all fast. Okay, I, thought I was about to say perfect. Oh, do I get a members bounce? Oh, no. Look at that. How good was that form right then? Uh, okay, 148. Seven up. 48. Oh, we don't. We do have a pretty good lie at the moment. The percentage is pretty good. The percentage is pretty damn good. Nasty little slow. Get up. Get up. Okay, a little bit bigger putt than what I'd like, but... That's what happens when you pull a, put a um, slow swing into it. One, all right, 35 feet, one foot up. It's got a bit of a break in the middle there, right on, that, on the uphill section. Or the steeper part of it anyway. Why did I feel like I under hit that? I did too. Alright. Stamp down another par. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm, I'm really enjoying the course, so it's making me work for it. Especially the old master difficulty. Alright, hole 14, par 4. Oh, do we play. I could roll out to the, but this could be also dangerous going this way. Slight fast, that is in the rough, which it would have been the other way as well for me. Oh man, that's thick, that is thick. That is really thick. Okay, nine iron normal, no, we're gonna need at least probably a seven coming out of here. Nasty lie. Let's put it right up on the hill. Probably not that much. That was that was a bit excessive, I think. Oh, we ripped the massive fast in or two and we kept going that fucking way. Wow. Oh, love went splash. Oh, that's a partial if I ever did see it. Oh, see, that's way too much. That was like half that swing then. Should have flopped it or something. Beautiful part of the course. I love the water work, the whole planning, everything. It's just absolutely stunning. All 
on, can we put that one in the hole? Come on, come on, come on. You're joking. Oh man, someone quick fart, knock it in. <laughs> oh, that's a bogey too. Oh, I was having such a good round, I thought. Okay, uh, what are we up to? Hole 15, par 3, 203 yards, one foot down. Not the best of rounds today, but still very enjoyable. Three wood, oh, can we? Three iron. Can I come in with the five here? Put a bit of low loft into it? See if we can get a bounce and, a bit of a bounce and roll up onto the green. Oh, is that going to get up? Oh, this might not be too bad. Oh, look at this for a shot. Get in that hole. Oh, that is a shot. That is shot of the day. Absolutely shot of the day. All right. Yes, that was a birdie. Put that one down for me. All right, what does that take? Is that back to four under now? Okay, back to four under. Okay, hole 16, par 4, 334 yards, 16 feet up. Okay, we got a bit of a... Which screen? We... Okay, that... no, we're going to this screen. That's right. Let's put that there. That Hang on a minute. Don't even have the driver in here. Here we go. Now we do. All right. Let's see if we can thread it again. There's a little bit more wind, though. Oh, fuck. Hold on to it, mate. Wow, I haven't done one of them in a while. Now a one hand to swing. Oh, that's put me in a right royal, um, a bit of a, uh, yeah, predicament, hasn't it? Uh, what have we got? 77 yards, 14 feet up. What can we do with a normal? 85, actually the normal lob wedge here. Tiny bit of a slow fuck that's in the bunker. No. Yeah, there's been some F bombs today, I tell you. Ah, oh, alright. Little lob wedge splash. Oh, I was going straight at it too, but it's <laughs> No, don't don't you dare. Don't you dare. It's going to do it, isn't it? It's going to do it. There's the edge. You fucking little bastard. Oh, and he's in the hole. <laughs> You're kidding. What was that for? Oh, I managed to save par. Oh, damn. Oh, I should have brought the pro clubs today. I should have brought the pro clubs. That was a that was a hard little one too. I had to take so much out of that for that swing. That was a huge parcel. I don't know how people do parcels with the mouse. Seriously, I play against um some mouses and <laughs> tell you what, they they do it pretty pretty damn good, especially without the rumble and everything. Oh, muscle memory, eh? Ooh. No, there's three wood. We're not. No, that's not, it's not going to make it. So let's give the old three wood up. Just straight up the middle. Play this one safe. What are we up to? Hole seventeen. Are we up to seventeen now? Is it seventeen or sixteen? Oh no, seventeenth hole, par four. Okay. Little sand wedge pitch. So we'll play straight at it. I've got a feeling this will be a bit of a fast into this, so I won't even take a bit of power out of it. Now 
Yep, that was an almighty red fast. Okay, lining up the putt, ready for a bird. Oh, wow, did you see that 12? 12, the putter there. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, nine feet with one inch down. It's got a slight little break to it. These little putts scare me. <laughs> that is in. Almost went right around it too. Oh, not too bad. Five under. All right, lucky last 18th hole. Yep, give the crowd a wave. wave. Thanks for coming, everyone. Nice fist pump, boys. Woo, loving it. All right, hole 18, par five. Finishing on a big note here. Uh, stay away from that water. Oh, you're fucked. Oh, lucky bounce. Lucky bounce. That's going to put me in the thick of it. I'm happy there. I am damn happy there right now. All right, little hybrid. That's not going to go that distance, so we should be safe. Put it back on the cut stuff. Nice little pitch up. Sink it for a birdie, and we're out. That's my plan, anyway. <laughs> that is my plan. All right, gap wedge pitch. Ah, not a gap wedge. Oh, I don't like the old gap wedge pitches. Seven more wins. We'll go straight at this one. Oh, we get it perfect. Oh, why is that so short? 93%. Oh, no. That means we're going to have to put it in now if we want to get the birdie. Sand wedge, gap wedge. That's going to be a pitching wedge for sure because of that uphill slope. We're going to need a bit more to roll up there. Oh my god. I thought it was going. I thought that was going. Oh, how's that gap wedge pitch? Baby arms. Ugh. Terrible. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Let's tap it in. Oh, you fucker. Oh no, look at it. That's worse. Now the putt's worse. I've just made it bigger. You're joking. That's going to be a bogey. This could be a double bogey, to be honest. Get up. Get in your hole. Oh, well. Well, there you have it. Wow. That's, um, that was an interesting round today. <laughs> Not too bad, but... Oh. That was a tough course. That was a tough course on master difficulty, especially when you swing like I do with them. That was a very tough course, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry for the um, so much um, bad language, but hell, that's golf for you, isn't it? All right, well, there it is, Maiden Brus Dunes. Again, that was designed by Katana 22 Mike, or as we all know him by us, Mike. Well done, dude. Absolutely, that was a brilliant course, man. I, that's up there with Amaru Bay. I don't know. Oh, I'm sort of sitting on the fence with them both now, eh? Bit, bit unsure, which is better. Uh, they're both equally as good, man. Well done with the um, course. And I think Mike is actually working on another course at the moment. He's doing a bit of a collab. So, yeah, can't wait to see that one, eh? All right, anyway, thanks for joining us, people. By all means, you can smash that thumbs up, smash that subscribe, drop a comment for the old designer there, whether you like it or not. And, yeah, I'm out of here. Later.